Right, so I've had a bit of a, uh, a an epiphany on uh, memory management and so I just want to share what I found. Um, this would be mostly useful for anyone doing mobile development or doing VR work where possibly if you're using kind of a quest, uh, so mobile VR memory is an issue and I was finding my app kept on crashing and couldn't work out why. Um, and essentially, if I show you from the Android device monitor, the, the ADB monitor tool, I was kind of grabbing memory usage and it was getting really, really tight. In fact, it was kind of getting s smaller than that. Um, or, or rather, the unknown is actually the Unity uh, app. And it was just getting bigger and bigger and, it, and actually was just using up all of the available memory on uh, this is I'm being, building this for a go so I'm not exactly sure exactly how much memory it's got but it's pretty low so um, what I did did a bit of googling worked out that in the package manager uh, there's a memory profiler which you can install and it runs very much like the, the normal profiler so you just kind of connect to your device um, let me see run uh, a developer build auto connect a profiler and then you can take snapshots and if I show you so that's one of the snapshots of a scene that was fine and the render texture was taking 195 megabytes if you click on it again it will show you what actually is taking uh, the memory um, so here I've got, I'm using Mesh Baker, and so I've got, this is my Atlas, it's taking 9.5. There's some light maps, because I'm baking all the lights, which you should do um, for mobile VR, or VR generally. And you can kind of see, right, so what's taking up your your memory? And if you need to go back, you just click on Texture Map, that brings you back. To do the actual captures, you just run it. Um, on the device and then just click on this capture button it'll create one of these and then you can stop and then open and close the snapshots as I'm doing here so yeah my texture 2d was on a, a, a scene that was working fine is 182 now the problematic scene close that and open this was this cafe um, which is you can just about see below or behind me now what I'd done, I'd actually already tried some, lots of things. I was disabling bits of the scene, um, thinking, right, you know, fewer vertices, just simplify everything. I, there's lots of stuff gone, actually, from the original. It's the original, if I can. Actually, I'll try to load it up, see if there's an original version. I've been doing, yeah, that's, that's one where I've kind of... Um, removed everything so that was my process of going um, from a quest build to a go build I was just stripping everything out so this was working fine there's hardly anything in it apart from the, the core functionality and pretty much what I'd done so I'd even like um, disabled all of the environments this is what's actually on the, the full quest version um, and even like disabling this I was still getting a problem I was st the, the the app was still crashing and if I'd known at the time and done this in fact which is what I did um, and open the uh, memory footprint realize that actually on this problematic scene I was getting onto close to a gigabyte of textures and and I can see what they are, you know, they're like, it's a wood texture, there's a wall, normal map. Um, now you, you can kind of drill down on these, see where they're being, the reference count. I personally find this a little bit confusing. I was just finding it easier just to go actually, to work out what the name, or to get back, you just click on tree or you can use the back button like that. Um, that's I'm um, zoom in and out with the mouse um, scroll wheel. So I was just using, you know, just looking at the name. So War One N, and then just searching for it here. War One N. Uh, you obviously have to spell it in the same way. Um, War One N. So there's the normal map now. 
it's a 2k texture for a, a normal map uh, you probably should be able to halve that to be honest so you would do it in max size uh, here but I guess more important than that is for me I'm seeing lots of textures like you know milk posters stuff that I know I've uh, baked into an atlas I went through and I've been using um, mesh baker to bake all of this stuff down if I open this up actually all of these and this is what kind of mesh baker to you mesh baker I'm getting these references these are the bakers and they're all referencing these original elements so as it turns out is one of the reasons they get included in the build and similarly even though once you run the, the bake um, even if something let me open another one so I'll open another scene so I did a version where I was yeah don't save so I, the, the first thing I did was I just deleted all of these uh, the actual bakers and not the combined meshes but I did I went through and deleted so all I've got left now the actual baked meshes with the atlas and deleted also anything that um, was not that, that, that was disabled but not going to be used because even though it's disabled it's still being referenced and its textures were still being included so I then did a, a memory I open this one for that and so it's kind of getting better now it's it was down to 394 after I deleted all the texture um, baker objects that were referencing the textures um, but it's still not perfect. I can still see this poster toilet, for example. Now it's getting pretty good. I'm just mostly seeing the the light map, the floor, the walls, which I actually do want. And I think maybe the wall I'm going to reduce in uh, resolution, but it's still going to be around there, not baked. But pretty much everything else is um, is the actual atlas. But the, there is a few kind of so that's that's the atlas opaque main text atlas that's great but there are a few stragglers you can see there's 10 meg being used on some posters what's it called poster toilets Do a search. there it is um, so right click find references in scene so there it is and why is it there um, well because the process that mesh baker and I guess many of these atlasing tools does is it kind of grabs the I find the same yeah the same with um, mesh combined studio does the same thing it it kind of combines the mesh and does its atlasing that's fine and then it kind of runs through and just disables the mesh renderer that's uh, that's brilliant for optimizing in terms of vertices but this texture is still being referenced it's still included in the memory footprint and so really what you get and even like again back to my point disabling that is not enough it's still in there because it's still potentially going to be turned on there's no way that unity knows whether or not there isn't a script that's going to turn this back on so it's in the scene it's referenced it's going to be uh, loaded into into memory um, and that's the big gotcha that kind of finally I realized ah all right so all these things that I actually so I, I know that the door side group all of these things that's a spotlight they're essentially there so this point lights are bait the posters got the mesh render off there's an audio temp which is not so this is old stuff uh, table similarly the mesh render is off but it's still referencing the, a metal texture uh, a wood texture they, and we're still they're kind of old they're not like mobile they're using the full res everything um, so delete old stuff uh, is, is what I've learned like don't just leave it in have um, a, your, your kind of 
you know your work scene where you're doing all this kind of work and you can go back and redo the mesh keep your mesh uh, bakers uh, objects and you can kind of redo a bake if you need to but once you're ready to ship and you're looking for optimization make sure that all of these things disappear so I mean and also so I guess worth saying also is that one of the reasons mesh baker and these utilities tend to leave the main is because they, they keep the you can see that it, it's keeping the uh, colliders if you need those then you need to delete everything apart from the collider on these objects for me actually this is not a room scale this is for the go it's like three doff static camera so I'm not going to need the colliders I need no don't need any collision so I'm actually going to delete these uh, oh sorry <laughs> got to do what I'm saying uh, to do not don't disable actually like delete them you, you need to completely remove them out of the scene um, okay so you know, I hope that's useful because I it's not immediately obvious so that's it's a problem but it will be if you're as I say on mobile or more mobile VR especially on a go something like that um, so yeah use this memory profiler and find out exactly what is being loaded in your scene there's definitely a big bottleneck um, so vertices shadow maps I've talked about all these things previously but um, yeah keep an eye on what's actually being referenced in your scene Right, uh, I've built a new build uh, and I'm running on the go. Um, just make sure that you're connected okay. So, you know, just select the right profile on the on the profiler. So that's, that's running. Um, but it's actually this that I want to grab. So currently I'm still in the um, main menu, which is not what I want to profile. Okay, so the scene's running, and I can now just click that button. It's capturing the, the memory, and you're done. And open it out. Let's have a look. We've got texture, so much better now. Just the floor, all these weird stuff. I've got a glass picture still showing up. Still a bit of wood. And these big textures are still there, so I'm, I'm gonna halve these. I think for the go, they honestly don't need to be this big. The floor and the wall, I mean, they they look nice. And the wall I wanted to get, it's got this kind of stucco texture, which worked well on the Quest, but on the go, I don't think that's really needed. So that's that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna stop the app. So, oh, shit, sometimes the wall, there they are. So I've got all of these being used. Now you can, if you want to, um, go into quality. No, sorry, not uh, preferences, project settings, quality. You can set texture quality to half res, and that will be global across everything. But I don't, don't want to do that because I don't want my atlases to be half quality. So I'm just going to have to do it by hand. And on these, so I mean, you could possibly go to a quarter on normal maps. Um, there's a debate it's trial and error you just have to see what works okay, so there's all my walls that are using that and that's on the standard shader actually which is not ideal really be on mobile what are these ah so there's more instances these have been combined uh, 
and they're referencing stuff that's no longer. So I've got to delete these, delete that, delete that, that can all go. So I've combined these, yeah, all the mesh stuff, delete. And, oh, and the floor as well. I thought for some reason that I hadn't combined the floor, but, and they were there, and that's the clue. I'd left, kept them in as kind of the room. Okay, so any ins other instances then of, let's find out. Combined room is still using those. Okay, that, that makes more sense. I can see in the editor, and I'm I'm using the mobile version, so I'm still referencing these. These are the textures I need to worry about. Um, floor, wall two, wall two. wall one so all of these there are 2k and floor now I'm just going to go half those and apply Uh, and the other thing to watch out for is this read write. I've just noticed the read write um, enabled flag. Now that will make the texture being loaded twice uh, in memory. So deselect that. Okay, so just doing that, I'm going to save the scene and uh, run a new build. that and rename I'm gonna do cafe that's my actually my third version of the optimization my file build and run it's uh, it's running again I'm in the right scene let's take a new capture and let's have a look so now we're down to 202. Brilliant. Um, and it's kind of what I'm expecting. There's a handful still in there. So you can dive further down. Yeah, wood three probably shouldn't be in there. I'm not sure. I'll have to, to dive into it. But um, so I've gone essentially from the problem one, which initially had uh, nearly a gig with all these extra like massively unoptimized and re essentially they were being referenced so these meshes were, uh, all these textures were being referenced and I just kind of slowly went my way down to 394 found a few more problems um, in version 3 335 megabytes finally I managed to get it down to 202 which is actually pretty much the same as the other yeah 193 that's my so pretty much I would say that's your budget your texture uh, memory budget for a go um, application let's take an uh, update from yeah so that's better that's giving me the kind of the right about 80% is probably as much as you're safe to to go I've got a little bit of inactive there a bit of free still um, so looking good hope that's useful to you um, I'll just be doing some learning and I'd like to share these things